And in the beginning, it took me a year to get 167 subscribers. It took me another year to get 3,000. Another year to get 20,000. But what I'm saying here is that I got started and I never stopped. Imagine if every single time somebody typed in who is the best agent to use in your market, your name showed up for free. I wanna to talk to you today about something that I genuinely believe is going to revolutionize the ability to market and advertise as a real estate agent. Again, imagine anytime somebody wants an agent in a market, in a niche, with your specialty, your name comes up for free. So what I'm going to do is break down something really incredible that recently happened with AI or artificial intelligence and talk to you about five steps that you need to take in order to start to get your name recognized for your market, your niche, and what you want to be known for so that when the general public starts to become a little bit more familiar with AI, which is inevitably going to happen in the years to come, your name is the one showing up. And I'm talking about years because you need to get started today. So what recently happened actually took me by a bit of surprise. So about a couple of weeks ago, I got an email from an agent that I didn't actually know. And he essentially said, Mike, you've made it. I was searching for tips on how to get better on video using chat GPT. And he sends me this screenshot, which I will read for you. But essentially he has 15 tips of different videos that he should be creating as a real estate agent because he was looking for advice as a realtor of what videos he should be putting out. And look at what happened at the end of this email, which he circled for me ever so kindly. It says, additionally, study Mike Sherrard's content for inspiration and consider adopting some of his successful strategies to your own style and niche. Keep your content informative, relatable, and visually appealing to attract and retain viewers in the competitive real estate market. So ChatGPT, after somebody was searching for video tips and how to get better and what types of videos to record, was not just giving the bullet points, but it was giving my name as somebody to study and reference. And I'm going to explain why and what it means for you. Because in the very same way, in the future, there's going to be opportunities for people to be searching for who should you work with as a realtor when moving to your market or who is the best first time home buyers agent in your market or luxury agent or second home market, whatever your niche is people will eventually be searching using AI and your name can come up if you follow the five things that I'm gonna to talk to you about right now. What's up guys, my name is Mike Sherb with eXp Realty and I train thousands of agents every single year to scale their business leveraging social media and this video is pretty exciting because I've been doing a lot of big speaking events talking about AI and I've actually got a couple really big partnerships with some of the AI tools that I've talked about on my YouTube channel but this one really took me for a surprise so let's talk about this a little bit deeper. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is that your personal brand is incredibly important, especially branding it as your name. So I see a lot of agents and I made this mistake in the beginning as well, which if you followed me for long enough, you will know that in the past, I had my Instagram handle, the purple realtor, and that worked in the beginning. And it was kind of interesting and people took a liking to it. But what I started to realize is that if I want to build this long-term, very successful business, that you need to be known as your name. Your name is what people are gonna be searching for, not your business name, not the purple realtor, not whatever realty, starlight realty. They're searching for you. So you need to, going forward, start to brand everything around your name. And also, you need to start to take into consideration how you're amplifying your brand, which I will get into later, and making sure that you have a consistent brand across all platforms. Because when you start looking at something like ChatGPT, it is basically scraping the internet to see who is the person for X, Y, and Z. Who should they recommend based on searchability? So you need to make sure that not only do you have a strong personal brand, not only is your personal brand founded off of your name, but simultaneously that you've got a consistent brand across multiple different mediums that all live online. The second thing is that your niche is critical. You've all heard the riches are in the niches 
And there's a lot of truth to that because this agent was searching for video marketing strategies or what types of videos should I record related to real estate? Well, who is the one that has put out hundreds of videos on YouTube, multiple blog posts and endless social media posts about leveraging video as a realtor. So it makes sense that ChatGPT would actually recommend my name and my channel as a reference point because I've got so much data out there specific to my niche. So my advice to you is number one, if you don't have a niche, you better get a niche. And this can be first time home buyers, move up, fix and flip, luxury, a specific community, or any sort of demographic, or you know, as I'm sitting here in my lakefront house, waterfront properties, golf course property, whatever your niche is, start to hone in on that so that you become recognized and synonymous with that. Because oftentimes now I'm very blessed and grateful to say that Again, echoing what ChatGPT said, when people are searching for video strategies as a realtor, my name is one of the handful of names that is synonymous with that topic or that niche. So you need to start to become synonymous with a specific niche. So when people think, oh, first time home buyers, boom, I'm thinking you. When they're thinking golf course properties, I'm thinking you. Or when you start looking at one of the agents I've recently featured on my YouTube channel, her business skyrocketed when she started to lean into horse properties. It's actually a really incredible interview. If you want it, drop a comment below and just say horse interview and uh, I'll send you Taryn's incredible interview because she was struggling as a solo agent and is now doing multiple six figures and multiple tens of millions in volume every single year just by getting into horse properties, which is her passion. $10 million listings from this previously struggling, but she tapped into her niche. So part number two is that you need to identify your niche and you need to start to brand yourself around your niche so that when people find you on any of these mediums online, your niche is also tied to your brand. The third one is going to be the most important one in my perspective, which is what we're doing right here, which is amplifying your brand in your niche through searchable content. And the reason why I'm saying searchable content is that when you're looking at an AI platform like ChatGPT, it is primarily looking at things like Google and other online sites and scraping all these websites on search platforms like Google and YouTube in order to find what it's gonna spit out as the answer. So yes, Instagram is important. Yes, TikTok is important, but searchable content is the most important. So when you look at it, there's a reason again, why my name would be showing up because not only do I have endless articles on my website and on other people's websites talking about leveraging video as a realtor, but I have endless videos on a very searchable platform, which is YouTube. YouTube is the number two search platform in the world owned by the number one, which is Google. So what I recommend is that if you have not yet started leveraging YouTube as a realtor or putting out blogs as a realtor, you need to commit to it going forward. Now, if you would like to know how to use YouTube as a realtor, I've got a free 30 minute video walking you through how to rank number one, how to get your name recognized and all of the strategies that you need. Drop a comment below and just say YouTube tutorial and I will send it to you. But you need to make sure that your name starts to again become synonymous with certain niches and certain topics on searchable platforms. If you become a secret agent, nobody's gonna know. You could be wanting to tap into a niche, but if I can't search it, nobody's gonna recommend it. And if you want a really tactical example and practical example of this, open another tab in your browser right now and type in YouTube for Realtors or Video Marketing for Realtors or Video for Realtors or any social media platform that is video-based related to Realtors. And guess whose content you're going to see? Mine. Now, the caveat is that it did not start out that way. And that's why I'm recommending and urging you to get started now. I've been putting out videos for over five years now on my YouTube channel. So I've got so much content out there talking about my niche. And that's why it makes sense that ChatGPT is recommending my content as a resource for people looking to leverage video because of the volume of content, which I will get into. But it's important, you can't just go out there today, write a hundred blogs and put out a thousand videos related to your niche, and suddenly you're gonna start ranking for it. 
Let me explain why because you need traffic. So the next reason why I'd be showing up and recommended by ChatGPT is because of the traffic that my content gets. So if you're putting out content, but you're not getting any views, not getting any engagement, then you know, it's probably not going to recommend your blogs or your YouTube videos to somebody that probably is also not going to engage. But again, because I got started and in the beginning, it took me a year to get 167 subscribers. It took me another year to get 3,000. Another year to get 20,000. But what I'm saying here is that I got started and I never stopped. And I never stopped putting out content specific to my niche. But in the beginning, I didn't get the engagement. The engagement came over time. But the one trick that I do want to recommend is that you need to start to build an email list. One of the easiest ways to do this is to create content around your niche and serve it to your database. And if you don't have a database, you should be doing two things, making it a priority every single day to add at least 10 people to your database. And number two is having some sort of downloadable lead magnet or PDF guide, community guide, relocation guide, a guide specific to your niche. So when you're creating videos about relocating to your market, you could say drop a comment below and you can download my free relocation guide to talk to you about the best communities in this specific market and all the things that you need to know before moving here. Well, that's going to be an exchange for email and contact information. When you put out more videos, as you start to build up this email list, continue to send it to your database. And that's going to drive more traffic. And when YouTube starts to see more traffic come into your content, it will promote your content. And that's why it's important to be very consistent over time because you want to build up this organic engagement from people that are actually interested in what you have to say. Now, the last component to this is tied to traffic, but it is volume. And again, I briefly touched on this, but the fact that I know some agents are gonna look at this and say, well, I'm just gonna get ChatGPT to write a thousand blogs for me and I'm gonna put them on my website and say I'm the number one agent for first time home buyers or lakefront properties or downtown, whatever. But here's the thing, if you have no traffic, nobody is going to look. And thus, ChatGPT certainly isn't recommending your content. So when I talk about volume being part number five, it's talking about consistent volume every single year going forward. And I know what people are gonna say is, well, I want this right now. Well, you're not gonna get it right now. I've done this for five years without expecting anything in return. I just committed to the process and I knew that as long as I'm consistent with the right things for an extended period of time, at some point in some way, shape or form, it will work out in my favor. I wasn't expecting or doing this five years ago before AI was ever even a word to hopefully one day get recommended by AI. I did this knowing that if you do it forever, it's going to work out in some way, shape or form. And that's proven to work, as we can see here with ChatGPT now recommending it. So the question is, is are you willing to commit to doing this for the next two to five years? So that in two to five years, which is probably when the general public will become more privy to things like AI, your name is the one showing up for your niche. Or are you going to be like most agents that are going to say, well, if I can't have results right now, I'm just not going to do it. And unfortunately, that's the reality that most are gonna take. But I know if you're watching this to the end, at this point in time in the video, that you're probably one of the ones that are actually committed and that aren't looking for the secret overnight sauce to success that I'm here to tell you does not, will not, and has not ever existed. But committing to the process, because if you build your brand, if you niche yourself down, if you amplify your message and your niche and your brand with searchable content, you drive organic traffic there and based on over delivering on value, people continue to come and you do this with volume for years and going forward, you commit to this for the rest of your real estate career. You are going to be the agent that starts to show up when people use AI to search, who is the best agent to use in my market. So I thought this would be a valuable video because I know there's gonna be agents that will look back at this video years from now and say, I wish I would have actually taken that advice. And I'm telling you today, I've said this years ago, that if you get started with video and you continue to put it out forever, it's going to work out for you in some way, shape or form, guaranteed. 
and it has for every agent that's taken action. But I still get agents that I said that to three years ago saying, Mike, I didn't start three years ago. I think I'm going to start now. And guess what? They haven't started now and they probably never will, but they continue to see the opportunity slide. My recommendation is if you're watching this right now, get started today, have a plan around your niche, your brand and searchable content and commit to this for the next five plus years. And if you do come back to this video one day, because I can almost guarantee your name is going to start popping up everywhere and you'll have more clients than you ever know how to deal with. If you're not willing to take action, just remember this one video when you're still struggling to get your next client in five years from now. Now, before we wrap up, if you liked this video, click the next video that I'm going to recommend here, because this dives into all of my favorite AI tools that I'm currently using in order to make content a ton easier. So check the next video. That's going to give you a wealth of AI tools that you should be using as an agent. And otherwise, thanks so much for tuning in. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.